Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since my last nail tutorial. Now, I saw this design floating around on the internet and wanted to go ahead and give it a try. Now, I did not come up with the paint splatter technique, but this color combination is of my own, so I wanted to go ahead and share it with you guys. If you're interested in learning how to get these really cool, edgy, simple paint splattery nails, just keep watching. For my color combination, I applied a black polish to my ring and thumb fingers. And then, for the remaining nails, I went with a hot pink. Even though this technique is a blast to do, it's definitely a messy one. So I totally recommend going out and getting a cup, any sort of cup, plastic, foam, whatever, cutting a little hole out for your finger. As you can see, this will help contain all of the mess inside the cup. Then you're going to need a few straws, one straw per color that you're going to be using in your design just so things don't get mixed up. Now if your straw has a bendy side like mine does, just grab a pair of scissors and cut right below the bendy part of the straw. Now the last foreign object you're going to need is some sort of invisible tape, it doesn't matter what kind. Using two pieces of tape, we're going to go ahead and protect the surrounding skin of our nails. First piece is going to go straight across at the top of the nail and then wrapped around like so. Next, you're going to grab a second longer piece of tape and put this on the edges of your nail. This will help protect any remaining visible skin, which will leave you with a little bit of a loop and this part can get pretty sticky, so go ahead and just kind of push it on down. So we'll first start off with the pink nails and I'll be using a black polish. Feel free to put your polishes on anything that you're comfortable with getting dirty and use more than you think you're going to need. Take your straw, bounce it straight up and down into the polish and sometimes you'll even see little tiny bubbles form. Then take it out of the polish and if your straw is completely coated with the polish then you know you're ready to splatter. So now on to the fun part, splattering. So you're just going to basically stick your nail into your little cup contraction, contraction, no, contraption. <laughs> Is definitely not a pregnancy video and you're gonna stick your straw inside and just with one quick blast of air you're gonna splatter that paint all over your nail and you can do this as many times as you want until you get the desired fact that you're going for now I really wanted this design to pop so I grabbed a nice metallic silvery color and by laying down the black first, it's definitely going to help make this silver pop and totally be luscious. See, the cool thing about this is you don't necessarily have to wait in between splatter layers. You can just do one and go right for the other. That's why I really like it is because although it looks complicated and tricky, it's quite quick. It took me probably like, I would say 10 minutes to do my whole entire hand when I wasn't filming. And keep in mind, you do not have to use my color combination. This is just kind of an example and you guys can use whatever polishes you have in your collection. And as for the black nails, I just took some more of that silver polish and applied it to my nail the same way I've been showing you guys how to all along. If you guys are looking for different splatter like effects, the closer you hold the straw to your nail, the more thicker the blobs and splatter will be and the farther away you hold it from your nail, the more delicate they will be. Cleanup at this point should be a breeze, but of course I want things to kind of look extra polished and put together, so I just grabbed some pure acetone and one of my little nail art brushes from eBay and just touched things up a bit. And of course, to seal the deal, go ahead and pick any sort of clear coat that you prefer. So that about wraps it up for this splatter nail design. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you all on the flip side. Bye.